Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. Hum achehe. Kaisehe up. And today we're going to be listening to Prime Minister Modi apologizing to the poor hit by lockdown, saying there's no other way. Yeah. Modi has done so much in the past few years that he's been the Prime Minister and a lot of really wonderful things. We've done a lot of them, if you haven't seen on our homepage. Um, Swash Barth being one of them. He's gotten awards. He's He really is a man who puts the country first always. And we've seen some of his compassionate, his softer side. He really does feel for the people. Coming yeah. from tea cellar, he knows how it is to need money every day to feed your family. He understands because he's been there. No other prime minister president i haven't heard anyone apologizing to the people saying i'm sorry you have to be in lockdown but you have to do this for your safety this is the only way that you will survive through this if we can keep everybody inside and contain this virus he is doing it to save as many people as he can but not even china has apologized this is huge you know And we've seen his softer side, you know, when the Chandrian launch didn't go perfect, you know, he hugged the scientist in the end. We've seen him talk about his mom on and cry. He talks about his country with such passion. He talks about India with such passion and he puts India first above most else. And and it's just amazing. So we're going to listen to his his apology um, to the people for trying to keep them safe. Yeah. मेरे प्यारे देशवासियों आम तौर पर मन की बात उसमें मैं कई विषयों को लेकर के आता हूं लेकिन आज देश और दुनिया के मन में सिर्फ और सिर्फ एक ही बात है कोरोना वैश्विक महामारी से आया हुआ यह भयंकर संकट yeah, ऐसे में is. मैं और कुछ yeah. बातें करूं वो उचित नहीं होगा लेकिन सबसे पहले मैं सभी देशवासियों से क्षमा मांगता हूं और मेरी आत्मा कहती है कि आप मुझे जरूर क्षमा करेंगे क्योंकि कुछ ऐसे निर्णय लेने पड़े हैं जिसकी वजह से आपको कई तरह की कठिनाइयां उठानी पड़ रही हैं खास करके मेरे गरीब भाई बहनों को देखता हूं तो जरूर लगता है कि उनको लगता होगा कि ऐसा कैसा प्रधानमंत्री है हमें इस मुसीबत में डाल दिया उनसे भी मैं विशेष रूप से क्षमा मांगता हूं हो सकता है बहुत से लोग मुझसे नाराज भी होंगे कि ऐसे कैसे सबको घर में बंद कर रहे हो मैं आपकी दिक्कतें समझता हूं आपकी परेशानी भी समझता हूं yeah, लेकिन yeah. भारत जैसे 130 करोड़ की आबादी वाले देश को कोरोना के खिलाफ लड़ाई के लिए एक कदम उठाए बिना कोई रास्ता नहीं था कोरोना के खिलाफ लड़ाई जीवन और मृत्यु के बीच की लड़ाई है और इस लड़ाई में हमें जीतना है और इसीलिए ये कठोर कदम उठाने बहुत आवश्यक थे किसी का मन नहीं करता है ऐसे कदमों के लिए लेकिन दुनिया के हालात देखने के बाद लगता है कि यही एक रास्ता बचा है आपको आपके परिवार को सुरक्षित रखना है मैं फिर एक बार आपको जो भी असुविधा हुई है कठिनाई हुई है इसके लिए क्षमा मांगता हूँ साथियों हमारे यहाँ कहा गया है एवं एव विकार अपी तरुण साध्यते सुखम यानी बीमारी और उसके प्रकोप से शुरुआत में ही निपटना चाहिए बाद में रोग असाध्य हो जाते हैं तब इलाज भी मुश्किल हो जाता है और आज पूरा हिंदुस्तान हर हिंदुस्तानी यही कर रहा है भाइयों बहनों माताओं बुजुर्गों कोरोना वायरस ने दुनिया को कैद कर दिया है ये ज्ञान विज्ञान गरीब संपन्न कमजोर ताकतवर हर किसी को चुनौती दे रहा है ये ना तो राष्ट्र की सीमाओं में बंधा है नहीं ये कोई क्षेत्र देखता है yeah. और नहीं कोई मौसम ये वायरस इंसान को मारने पर उसे समाप्त करने की जीत उठाकर बैठा है और इसलिए 
सभी लोगों को पूरी मानव जाति को इस वायरस के खत्म करने के लिए एकजुट होकर संकल्प लेना ही होगा कुछ लोगों को लगता है कि वो लॉकडाउन का पालन कर रहे हैं तो ऐसा करके वो मानो जैसे दूसरों की मदद कर रहे हैं अरे भाई ये भ्रम पालना सही नहीं है ये लॉकडाउन आपके खुद के बचने के लिए है आपको अपने को बचाना है अपने परिवार को बचाना है अभी आपको आने वाले कई दिनों तक इसी तरह धैर्य दिखाना ही है लक्ष्मण रेखा का पालन करना ही है साथियों मैं ये भी जानता हूँ कि कोई कानून नहीं तोड़ना चाहता नियम नहीं तोड़ना चाहता लेकिन कुछ लोग ऐसा कर रहे हैं क्योंकि अब भी वो स्थिति की गंभीरता को नहीं समझ रहे ऐसे लोगों को यही कहूँगा कि लॉकडाउन का नियम तोड़ेंगे तो कोरोना वायरस से बचना मुश्किल हो जाएगा मोदी इज सो राइट ऑन सो मेनी लेवल्स लाइक ही इज अपॉलोजाइजिंग विच इज ह्यूज ह्यूज um for any world leader to be apologizing for this china really needs to step up its game but india has always shown compassion not only to the world but to its own people and this is you can see it in his speech he's he knows it's a hardship for people that live day to day money like every day they make money that's enough to feed them for that day and then tomorrow yeah. they have to work again to make money to feed it's going to be a struggle that hopefully people are helping each other out but the safest thing you can do is stay inside and stay safe it's hard we've been doing it yeah. since the beginning of march it is the hardest thing we've ever had to do but knowing that we're staying inside keeps us safe keeps everybody else safe and hopefully right now you know us is top of the charts and the deaths are going up every day and now they're starting to let people go back to work it's a little bit scary um hopefully somebody will find a cure a vaccine something that will help yeah. with this so we can get through it because i don't think it's going away but we need to be able to india is so huge you really need to not put political ties on modi right now and just listen to the government and stay inside it's not only going to keep your family safe and you safe it's going to keep the country safe it's going to keep the police safe the doctors this is not the time to go throwing stones no I and mean, it's not the time to say i don't like modi so i'm going to just go out of my house like this is for your safety he is apologizing because he knows what it's like everybody knows that it's hard to stay in your house it's hard to not work but we need we just need to get through this like yeah you really need to get through this yeah throwing stones at the doctors throwing you know cutting police officers hands off cuz you don't want to stay in your house um coming outside anyways it's not helping you guys right now are one of the lowest people with cases and one of the lowest um with the deaths and you have the most people so please please listen to modi he had seven things we did that not too long ago on ways to stay safe you know make sure you're wearing masks make sure you're washing hands but this is not a joke the numbers are going up every every single day and it's and there's no cure for it nothing we have nothing right now to help us get through it and so modi not only is showing his softer side this is not about race this is not about religion this is not about your caste nothing he is trying to keep you safe he is not against anybody and this is just about keeping you safe um, yeah we need to thank all these doctors the nurses the police officers all the people that are out there washing down stuff spraying down things putting themselves out there they could be getting it but they're trying to clean up or they're trying to save people and it's hard here in the US we had a doctor not too long ago who was in charge of a big a, a bunch of doctors she was like the head and it was so overwhelming she had so many coronavirus patients that were dying and there was nothing they could do to save them 
and it got so overwhelming for her that she committed suicide. Because doctors get into their job because they want to save people, and to see people, a lot of people dying, is them feeling like they're not doing their job and they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah. So they need support. Everybody that is out there doing, you know, trying to keep everybody safe needs your support and your help. Stay inside your house. Stay safe. And Modi has the biggest heart we've ever seen from a prime minister, from a leader of the world. This is what we expect from China. This is what we know comes from India. This is just how India is, the compassion that comes out of there. But this is the kind of stuff we need for more world leaders, is the compassion for the people. Um, And he understands. So I hope you guys are listening. I hope you guys are watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye.